let's do a problem about student t distribution um here's the question on the verbal section of sat a sample of 25 test takers has a mean of 520 with a standard deviation of 80. construct a 95 percent confidence interval about the mean since it's very hard to it's very difficult to figure out the population mean and population standard deviation so that's why we take sample here sample is sample size is 25 and 520 is the sample mean and sample standard deviation is 80 okay, so and we need to con uh, construct a confidence interval about the mean means we want to find out the 95 percent confidence interval such that the population mean okay not the sample mean will lie in that interval okay, so let's go for it okay here let me uh, write down everything so sample size is 25 sample mean mu x bar equals to um, 520 <coughs> and sample standard deviation or simply we'll write s okay equals to 80 so that's it we want to construct 95 percent interval okay then this distribution will follow okay so mu x bar s divided by root under n okay so that's it all right so this is actually n uh, 520 is the thing okay is the mean and 80 over a root under this sample size 25 okay, so that's it so this is n 520 comma uh, 5 over 80 80 over 5 is 5156 is 16 so s over root n is 16 okay so that's the thing 95 percent confidence interval what does that mean okay 95 percent confidence interval means uh, if you want to figure out alpha alpha is simply 1 minus 95 percent okay. so that is simply 1 minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.95 which is 0 0.05 and we need to figure out the t value okay so for that we want to go for alpha over 2 which is 0 0.05 divided by 2 is 0 0.025 okay so that's it so what is the value of what is the t value of 0 0.025 okay we need to figure that out now what does this this mean okay so let us talk about that what does this means is if you have this kind of distribution sorry if you have this kind of distribution then finding out the 95 percent confidence interval means you are we are finding out this space this area okay from here up to here and what we are doing is uh, by finding out the t value means we are trying to find out this point and this point okay and we are actually finding out the probability of this areas okay so this one is alpha over 2 which is 0 0.025 it is this is 0 0.025 okay that's alpha over 2 so i would ask you to head over this website geozebra.org slash classic hash probability and here in the drop down menu you go for student distribution okay now if you want to see how the student distribution would look like then click on this red uh, graph okay red curve then you will see the red one is the student t distribution and the blue one is the normal distribution okay so now here um, first of all we need to realize that uh, once we have written down the sample size then the degree of freedom should be written down right away so that it will, uh, it will help us later on so that's 24 right so let us write that down over there probabilities towards the right of the tail and towards the left of the tail so either you can choose the left tail or the right tail okay and we only focus numerical value not the uh, not the negative or positive things okay so here type 0 0.025 so that's 2.0639 okay this is the value okay this is the t value now you can go for uh, you uh, you can see that i uh, went for the right sided and got 2.0639 however you can do the same thing and you can write down over here 0 to 5 since this portion of the of this um, web tool it represents the probability so that's why we get the x value for that or t value for that 
okay so 2.0639 we are getting the same numerical value okay so don't be uh, uh, yeah you can you can use anything okay either left hand side or right hand side that's up to you okay so 2.0639 so t value is 2.0639 okay now the error error the error based mean so ebm i would simply write down this is error based mean is t alpha over 2 times s over root n okay so that's the thing so what is this this is actually 2.0639 times s over root na, uh, root n is simply 16 okay we have already figured that out over here right okay so that's 16 so therefore ebm error based on mean is 2.069 uh, 2.0639 times 16 that's 33.0224 we need to draw we need to come up with 95 percent confidence interval so for 95 percent confidence interval um, this is simply uh, x x value minus ebm error based on mean and x bar, bar minus plus ebm so now here x bar means many things okay it can it is it is it is a point estimate now the point for this problem the point for this problem is uh, the mean okay the mean of the sample which is 520 okay so let's go for that okay so this is 520 minus 33.0224 and 520 plus 33.0224 okay so that's it Okay. now let us finish the calculation okay which is 520 minus 33.0224 is 486 comma uh, this is 553.0224 okay. so we can write finally you must write so we are 95 percent confident that the population mean the population mean lies in this interval lies in the interval interval 486.776 uh, 553.0224 okay we can say that all right so that's the conclusion that we always need to at the end thank you